Welcome to Chelmsford, Jordan. We're delighted to have you here. Uh, what was it about Essex that prompted you to make that move across the bridge? Oh, that's a great question to start off. Um, I think um, just the experience the Essex team have got um, from county championship winners not long ago um, to finishing second this year. You know, it's, they've got a proper side and even in T20 Blast, you know, it seems like they always get to finals day. So it's a team that I want to add value to and, and hopefully win a few trophies. And Essex as a county is, is pretty familiar to you, I believe. I think you came to school here. So does it almost feel like quite a, a natural move? Yeah, apart from driving in today, it was a bit weird. It was like, oh no, where do I go? But no, I've obviously went to school at Felsted. Um, Jason Gallen still is around, you know, he's still my backing coach today. So it's, everything's quite familiar still. I wonder what it's going to be like first game of the season. Obviously, you've had plenty of tough battles on the pitch with your new teammates. Uh, how much are you looking forward to getting in that dressing room and getting amongst it? Yeah, it should be really good fun. Um, at least I won't get shinned by, you know, Porter or Cookie to start off the year. So, no, happy to be on the other end of that for sure. But no, really looking forward to joining up with a group. Seems like a very good bunch. Leading on from that, obviously, you're very familiar with Essex's bowling attack. There's a lot of fine bowlers in there. Is there anyone you're particularly hoping to, I guess, avoid in the nets? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I can imagine there's quite a few of them, to be fair, I'd be trying to avoid, I might just stick to the, uh, the dog stick, but no, it's, like I said, it's, a, it's an incredible team and I'm looking forward to joining up with the boys. And you have spent some time with uh, Adam Rossington out in, in South Africa for the inaugural SA20 competition, a successful one for Sunrise's Eastern Cape. How was that? Did you get to spend much time with him out on the golf course as well? Yeah, we spent a lot of time together. Um, we were quite lucky we we got along because we played golf together we social uh, socialized a lot together so yeah we pretty much were each other's you know other half of that that trip we spent a lot of time together and a lot of golf for about three pounds <laughs> um, your hundred competition last year was, was obviously unfortunately it cut short through injury just wondering how is that hate healing and you're ready for your next challenge i believe that's the uh, ILT20 coming up later this month? Yeah, um, looking forward to it. Um, obviously the injury didn't help, um, but 14 weeks later I'm now back hitting, feeling good, um, really excited to get going um, and hopefully the winter is good fun and a few more trophies. And you have been in and around England squads in the, in, in the past. Do you think this new challenge, new environment could help you push for, for higher honours again? Oh, definitely, for sure, yeah. Probably to take on an opportunity or take on a role of such a good player, Dan Lawrence, to take his, his spot in the, in the team. Obviously, he's moving, moving on to go to Surrey, but to take his, his place and to have that high expectation of doing well at batting four or five or somewhere around there, you know, it's going to show, hopefully, the England selectors that I'm keen for the challenge. Perfect. Well, thanks, Jordan. We're happy to have you here. I'm sure the members are, and supporters are looking forward to seeing you out in the middle. Perfect, thank you very much.